And look, Anderson's uh, 46 years old, and I thought he did an incredible job, man. He was sticking, moving, bouncing around the ring, having fun, uh, was throwing combos. He's long and lanky. And to come in there and beat, you know, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., who's what, like uh, over 50 wins in yeah. the ring, is a, is a world champion. This just goes to show that MMA strikers are also great boxers. And I think a lot of people forget that. That is the first skill that MMA fighters, you know, learn if they're going to learn how to fight is, is, is boxing. So I thought he looked amazing. You know, this is kind of the standard question we ask guys now. Hey, would you fight Jake Paul? Would you fight Logan? And when we asked Anderson that before his fight, he was like, yeah, they're really good kids and we'll see afterwards. But he definitely didn't say no. So do you have any interest in fighting Anderson Silva now, Jake, that you saw he can handle himself in the boxing ring? Um, I mean, look, a anything is possible. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I didn't initially think of that, but Hey, I, I, like I said, my saying is anyone, anytime, any place. Uh, but I think it would be more interesting to see Anderson Silva fight Roy Jones Jr. on my undercard, which is what I like originally tweeted out there. Right. Uh, because, you know, he beat, he beat one legendary boxer. Let's see if he can beat another legendary boxer. Maybe there's a fight for us down the road. I think there's talks about him maybe fighting against my brother. Um, but Ander Anderson's a nice, a nice guy, and I respect him as, as a legend. Five years from now, where do you see yourself boxing-wise? What, what is Jake Paul in the boxing world? Look, I, I just want to continue to be the most disruptive boxer in the history of the sport. And I think it's taking it uh, on a fight by fight basis and continuing to build these fights and make them even bigger, even bigger, take on more serious opponents. And look, if you asked me if I was going to be where I'm at three years ago, I wouldn't believe you. So I don't even want to think about or cap myself with the yeah. possibilities. I'm open minded and I think anything is possible. I think I could be fighting against Canelo Alvarez for, you know, the WBC or WBO championship belt. Um, so really the sky is the limit. It's just about how serious I'm going to take it. And, and I do take it seriously, more seriously than 99.9% .9 of these professional boxers that are out there. Like that, I probably would have said there's no there's no way in hell like a year ago, but I would never doubt you now. Why? Well, I don't know why anyone would ever doubt you at this point with what you've done and how you look in the ring. So I know people are going to say Canelo is the best pound for pound boxer in the world right now, but why not? Why not, baby? Hey, that's a lot of people are afraid, right? They're, they're afraid to try. They're afraid to get up out of their seats. They're afraid to do something different, but that's them. That's not me. I, I know that I can accomplish anything I, I set my mind to. And, and that's why there's a difference between successful and non-successful people in this world.